Dave, AutoCAD 2010 has a lot of improvements for drawing utilities, like measure tools. Right, well the measure tools, I mean, talk about something that's been frustrating for years, right? You use the area command and you start clicking on points around an object. Did I pick that corner already? Did I pick this corner over here? So now, when I use the area command, I actually see a green area that gets highlighted as a background that I can see exactly the area, the points that I've picked. And if I subtract areas from it, I see what I've subtracted from it. So there's no longer any ambiguity. What am I measuring? You can see it right there in front of you. That visual feedback. Visual feedback. And also, again, this works kind of like with dynamic input. As you finish each step of calculating the area or finding the length of something, you get that little tool tip. The dynamic input shows up right there and says, okay, the area of this object is this. The length of this object is this. You don't have to look back down on the command window, it's right there on the screen in front of you. So again, anytime you don't have to take your eyes off what you're doing, you become much more proficient. You can focus on the work that you're doing. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And other enhancements, Purge, have you used well, the so new Purge option? I, it doesn't happen to me quite that often, but you know, it occasionally we'll create objects that really have absolutely no content, zero length objects. We couldn't get rid of those before. They would just kind of live inside the drawing. And how, for example, would that zero length text uh, Well, you'd create, you'd create a text object and then never type anything. So you've literally got a blank text object space that's still there, something. a space. Well, even, it doesn't even have to be a space. It's just blank. You started the command, you stopped the command, you never actually typed anything. You started drawing a line, you never really drew anywhere. Or, you know, how I've done it is if I have a line on the screen and I grip at it and I accidentally snap one Back end to, to the other. Back to its starting point. Right. So, so now, now it's you've like got a, a zero a length object. Yeah. So we can finally purge those and get those out of the drawing. Because they just, they tend to bloat the drawing. They're there, we can't see them. If we can't see them, we can't get rid of them. So now we can purge those out of the drawing. And it's just a quick uh, selection right there on the purge dialog box. Right, it's in box. the purge dialog box. And then the other one is the ability to rotate a viewport. So I'm laying out a sheet of drawings now on my layout, and I want to take a viewport and I want to rotate it. And I don't want to just rotate it 90 degrees, I want to rotate it to whatever angle I want. Now we could rotate the viewport before, but everything in the viewport would reorient back to North. All right, now I can rotate the viewport and the contents of the viewport rotate along with the viewport. And even before I think it was quite a challenge. It seemed like you had to like draw the rectangle rotated and clip it or I mean it was quite a challenge yeah, to even. Yeah I can't even remember what it was like before because it's so easy now. A viewport is an object. I can select the object and just use the rotate command and rotate that viewport and it's going to stay the way I've got it. And the contents are going to stay the way I want it to be. And then there's that big long variable VP rotate asos where you can associate it either so yeah. it rotates with the viewport or, or, not, or I don't not. even you know I don't even think about this. You don't there's even so need many that. system variables I don't <laughs> want to have to memorize all those yeah. system variables anymore. So but that's those are one of those features that now once, once you start it now, doing it it's you like wonder how we did it did before. We, what did we do before? Yeah. I mean I've literally forgotten what it was like before because it's so easy to do it now. Yeah, I agree. It's now it's just brainless. Yeah. <laughs> Just what I like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome.